Hi guys, I received a message from PPM1122 and it says, Hey man, do you know how to open the C drive from the CMD? Now, those of you who don't know what CMD is, it's uh, the command prompt, which is basically a black box, which I'll be showing you in a second. Um, I've done a couple of things on it before, but I haven't really explained it, so I'll be going through that in a second. And this time I'll be talking about file and folder operations and things like that. Um, if I run over, I'll make another video on some either part two or um, make some stuff about internet things that you can do with it as well and other useful stuff. So um, either way, hey man, do you know how to open the C drive from the CMD? So now I'm not sure if you mean open the C drive from um, open the CMD with the C drive open from Windows, or you want me to actually show you how to open the CMD and go into the C drive. So firstly, I'm going to make a shortcut. Um, right click new shortcut. You're just going to say cmd.exe, which means run the command prompt, which is the black box, slash k, keep it open, and then you're going to do a, an operation inside it, and we're going to say cd, and then backslash. Now I'll tell you what this means in a second, but basically this should open it inside that little c that you're looking for. So double click, and we're now in the c drive. So that's how you do that if you want to do it from um, Windows. Um, if you um, want to know how to do that, um, PPM1122. Now, I'm going to show you, firstly I'm going to show you CMD. This is CMD, and it says Microsoft Windows XP, my version, uh, copyright, blah, blah, blah. It says C documents and settings, Duncan. Now, some people don't know, but you can go start, run, and type in command, and this opens something different. It says Microsoft Windows DOS, and then it says a different year to the year that's shown here, and that says C document, and then Duncan. Now, these are both pretty much the same, apart from Windows DOS is more for legacy applications, so things that were made quite a long time ago for DOS, um, you have more chance of running it in this than you have in this, even though they're practically the same. Um, so you'll notice that it says C documents and settings Duncan. Now this is the folder that it's currently inside that's on Windows. So if I was to go start, run, and press dot, you'll notice that these are all the folders that are inside C documents and settings and Duncan. So usually your command prompt will start, if you type in a dot into run, it will use, your command prompt will usually start here. And it will be C documents and settings or C users or something, and then your name. So, yes, yeah, so they both say the same thing, but why does this say C document one and then Duncan, and this say C documents and settings Duncan? Now, the old school DOS um, limited all characters, all folders, and all file names to eight characters. Uh, before Windows 95 and 98 came along and then you could make them as, uh, up to 255 I think. So um, this is still using the old school um, 8 character limit and so it's saying document and then that little uh, symbol there and then a 1 so that means it's a longer uh, version but we can only do the first uh, 6 and then that. So um, if I was to go, if I was to do something called a change directory which is cd and press dot dot uh, you'll notice it's gone to C document one. Um, that's the same as pressing up one folder in uh, Windows. So it's up one folder, C documents and settings. Now I can do it in this one also. And if I do it again, I'll be in the C drive, which is what we were talking about before. Um, now you'll notice if I do that, and then I want to change the directory uh, or change the folder, whichever you want to call it, back into documents and settings, um, which it says here, documents and settings. If I was to do it in Windows DOS, Type it cd documents and settings. You notice it says too many parameters, that's because it's still got that eight character limit, so you have to say c document and then that little thing and then one. So that's uh, command.com. You may not want to try it out because it's very old school, but if you really want the true feeling of DOS, then come back into this one. But for the time being, we're going to talk about CMD. Now, uh, this is CMD. We're currently in the C drive, which is the main drive. Now you'll notice if I go back to uh, if I go back to Documents and Settings, and um, I want to change directly to that, and um, without um, having to go dot 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 dot, I just say CD and then backslash, which is what I did. You'll notice in that shortcut. Now if I was, I could do it another way. I could go CD C, and then it will do it as well. Um, so that basically goes to the main point of the drive. And you can also do things like CD, C, Documents, and Settings. And it will do it from there. Now if you want to change the drive, so for example, if I go on my computer, I've got more than one drive. I've got an H drive, C drive, D drive, E drive, F drive, G drive. Instead of typing that C, you replace it with another letter. So if I say, I can actually do it without typing CD, 
and then um, I don't know H. You can do it this way, I think. Um, oh no, it just displays it. <laughs> no, all you need to do is type in H and then a colon, and then it will change to my H drive, which is my recovery drive. So I'm going to go back to C for the time being, and you'll notice it's gone back to my documents and settings. So I'm going to say CD dot dot to go to my main drive. So I'm going to go onto my C drive here, right? You'll notice that I have all these folders. You'll notice I also have ones that are hidden. I've got loads of um, random files as well. Now, what if I were to display it in this box? I need to say DIR. Now, that has now brought up a load of stuff here. It's got all the dates that um, the uh, files have as the attributes when they're created, I think, or modified. I think it's created uh, at the time as well. And uh, DIR means folder. So, um, ACS is a folder, backup is a folder, backup appends is a folder, and um, DR windows. And these are the size of the files and these are the names of the files. Now if this is too complicated for you you can do something called an argument and you can say dir and then slash b. Now slash, uh, it'll, it'll run the dir command prompt but it'll do a slash b and what b means is bare format so it will do it in a way that you can probably understand it rather than putting all this gibberish on there as well. So dir slash b and you'll notice it's just got the file names that you have in your in your folder. Now uh, if I was to look for a, uh, a, f a folder, here we go, I've got Recycler as a folder. Now if I want to list just folders, um, I can just say dir star and then dot. Uh, this, may not, this won't become clear at the moment but I'll explain it in a second. And you'll notice it's come up with most, well it's come up with a dot R and D, but it's come up with most of the directories I have. Now you'll notice that I don't have um, cache, Recycler, MSO cache in here. It's um, kept the uh, hidden folders um, away. Now, if I go into documents and settings, because it's easier to show you with uh, less files and folders, and then go into uh, say DIR here, it says all users and Duncan. Uh, all users and Duncan here. Now, if I did it on here, it will say there you go. All users Duncan, but I've got default user network service and local service. So, how do I get access to these? Or find out if they're here or anything? Well, firstly, you can you can do a CD if you know they're there and you'll notice it will go into it. But what if you wanted to display it in your little dir command? All you need to do is type in dir slash ah. Now it will say display all the things in the directory or, or the folder with an attribute of hidden. So you say ah and you'll notice that we've now got all the things that are hidden. So we can now access them. Now dir has got quite a few arguments because these are called arguments, these slash things. Got quite a few arguments you can do. Um, if I say dir slash w that means wide format. Um, dir slash uh, s I think does all the subdirectories in it. So you see it's going a bit nuts now. It's listing all the um, folders I have um, inside this folder and every file that's in each one of them. So it's going a bit nuts. So I'm going to press control and break to stop this. Um, uh, which other ones? Uh, if you want to know what, what ones they have, because I'm doing dir and then slash something, um, you just need to go dir slash and then a question mark. And you'll notice that it comes up with firstly a description of what this command does, it displays a list of files and subdirectories in a directory. And you've got a bunch of attributes here that you can do with it, and then it will show you what each does. So slash a displays files with the selected attributes. Slash b uses bare format. Slash d displays a thousand separate and blah 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 blah. Use lowercase and there's more as well. So there's so lots of things you can do here. Um, now if you wanna if you have a file, uh, I need to go on something with a file in it, don't I? If I go to Duncan. See what, if I've got any files here. Here we go, I've got a Google link and a CFG file or something. Now what if I had more than one um, CFG file, or I just wanted to list that CMG CFG file, but I didn't, I didn't care about the name, I just wanted to list all the um, files of one type in a directory. All I need to do is say dir star and then dot star meaning anything and then CFG. And you notice it's just come up with a CFG file. Um, something else to show you, uh, if you want to go into the documents and settings but you can't be bothered to type it out, cd docu, uh, so part of the name, press star, press enter, and it's now gone into documents and settings. Star means anything, it's a great wildcard to use. And also, if you want to, you can press cd and then press the tab key, and you can go, it'll go through all the folders that you have on your drive. So, uh, just some basic file and uh, directory listing thing commands that you can do. I'm going to have to make quite a few more videos on this because I've got quite a bit to show you. So thanks for watching my video. Please comment, rate, subscribe if you like my videos. And thanks again.